Multiplying a polynomial by a monomial is really just an exercise in distribution. That really is all it is. And remember that distribution, distribution is, comes from the root word to distribute, which means to give out. And that really is exactly what we're doing. We're taking one number on the outside of an expression, and we're sort of giving it out to each of the things inside. We're distributing it among each of those things inside the parentheses. So to properly apply distribution, all you need to do is keep straight which things you've multiplied and which things you ha haven't, which is kind of a recurring theme in multiplying polynomials. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here is start with 3x squared. We're going to multiply that by the expression 2a plus 3b minus 4c, and we're going to distribute the 3x squared to each of those terms individually. So we start with the 3x squared and multiply it by 2a. We get 3 times 2, and that's 6. And then x squared times a is just x squared times a, because those don't combine. They're different terms, or different factors, I mean. So then we're done with that one. We move on to the next one, 3x squared times 3b. 3 times 3, they're both positive, so we get a positive 9. And x squared times b is just x squared b. And that takes care of that one. And now finally we move on to the last one. Now we have 3 times negative 4, that's negative 12. And x squared times c, just x squared c. And since none of these are exactly the same term, we have x squared a, x squared b, x squared c. We're done. We can't simplify any farther. And that is our answer. So let's try one more here. Let me actually move this up just a little bit. Give us a little more room to work. There we go. Okay, so here we have negative 2a times negative 3x plus 2y minus 4z. So again, one step at a time. Negative 2a times negative 3x will be positive 6ax, or xa, doesn't matter. And negative 2a times 2y will be negative 4ay. And finally, negative 2a times negative 4z will be positive 8az. And again, none of these are the same terms. We have ax, ay, az. So that's as far as that simplifies. And we're done. So again, the trick for multiplying a polynomial by a monomial is that you're just distrib distributing using the distribution property. And that means taking the thing outside, the expression outside the parentheses, and sort of giving it out to each of the things inside. When you're done, if you have any terms that are the same, you, mo you combine them before you turn in your answer. But if there's nothing that's the same, then you're done.